last night tell you about Bill Belichick and Tom Brady? Well, it told me last night what everybody already knew is that the two guys were better together, but they wanted to be apart. Um, Skip, when look, Coach Belichick is not a bad coach because his team lost last night. They really needed to punch that ball in. I don't understand why they're so early in the ball game, Skip. They, they didn't kick a field goal. They wanted to go for it on fourth down. And it wasn't like it was fourth and a foot. It was a fourth and like two or three yards. So I was surprised that they did, they did that. But Coach Belichick, if you look at Coach Belichick over the last five games, he was 4-1 and one heading into that ball game. Tom Brady had lost three of his last four. And he was eight touchdowns, seven interceptions, 62% completion with a 38-3 loss in there to New Orleans. Mm. And so he could have easily been bent, and no one would have thought a second, uh, had a second thought about it. Um, but when you look at it, and you people, and it's quick to say, well, Cam do this and Cam, Cam, Cam. But I thought this team was devoid of talent last year. That was one of the reasons why Cam, uh, uh, Tom Brady wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. So if it was devoid of talent this year, they didn't restock the uh, uh, cupboard with any talent. No. So. So. I'm confused. I, I'm okay. really confused by this, kid. Huh. Because, and, and I'm looking at it. Tom Brady has all this talent, and he's thrown more interceptions with more talent than he's thrown over the last two or three years. Huh. So, so what does that say about him? Huh. Well, I'm confused because Bill Belichick did not upgrade any of the talent anywhere on either side of the football. Did Coach Belichick, Help me out. Did Coach Belichick tell you he had no money? Oh, did he, he tell no you he didn't have no money? He Personally or <laughs> salary cap money? I don't know. He said salary yeah. cap money. Look, we knew going into this game, Skip, this is the way the Patriots win ball games. They get non-offensive touchdowns because they're challenged. So they get a scoop and score, they get a pick six, they get a kick return, punt return touchdowns, or they get short fields. If they have to consistently drive the ball down the field, with that talent, it's going to be hard for them to score. That's why it was very important for them last night, Skip. That first drive was their best drive, and they needed to punch that in. If they punch that in, Skip, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to say they win the ball game, yeah. but we might have a different – we're like, oh, man, that was a good ball – that was a good game. Well, Skip, they can't protect. Mm. I mean, <laughs> they had 23 pass attempts. They gave up six sacks on 23 pass attempts. And then you couldn't run the football. So if you can't run the football, you can't throw the football, I don't understand how you expect to win. Now, Jerry Goff, would, you know, kept him in the game because if he throws the ball out front, it's a first down, he throws it behind, it's a pick. So I don't have a whole lot of confidence in him. Have you seen that movie before? <laughs> yes, we've seen mm -hmm. that movie a lot yep. of times before. And uh, Sean McVay's like, I need to stop seeing it or are you going to see this movie where you're on the bench? Yep. So for me, Skip, I didn't learn anything that I didn't already know going into the ball game. Mm. Coach Belichick and Tom Brady were great at, as a couple, mm. but somebody wanted to be in their own movie. Mm. Somebody wanted to go it alone. Well, both of these guys wanted to go it alone. And one guy, uh, uh, Coach Belichick team, doesn't have talent. He's doing all the shopping. That's his fault. He let it get like this. That is there's, a fact. There's no one else to blame but nope. Coach Belichick. He let it get like this. Tom is happy in his situation, but he's not as playing as well as, we, as a lot of people thought he would. So together they were better. Apart, we're starting to see they probably should have stayed better, but no one would have been happy. Okay. So I want to remind everybody that with basically this same talent or lack thereof a year ago, mm -hmm. Tom Brady on the final regular season Sunday at New England had this team in position to be the two seed in the AFC. Mm -hmm. He went down and did what he always does in the fourth quarter, almost always, and he scored a touchdown on a long drive that put them ahead by four points. And here came, guess who, Fitz Magic against the Belichick's, the vaunted defense of Bill Belichick, and Fitz Magic drove the Dolphins 75 yards and 13 plays, including a buzzer beater to Gusecki from five yards to win the game yes. with a touchdown, not it a field it. goal. They needed to score Correct. seven, and they did. And that knocked, obviously, the Patriots out of the two seed. So that's what Tom accomplished, and I made the case that he did more with the least he's ever done last year mm -hmm. in New England, his final year, obviously, right. in New England. For me, last night, Bill Belichick got exposed once and for all as a team builder, not as a coach, as yeah. a team builder, yeah. as the GM yeah. of this team, as the president, as the, the man with the purse strings, he, <laughs> he does it all. He shops for all the groceries, and that team last night was overmatched by a far more talented football yeah, team. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, 
maybe I'm missing a game in my memory, but I don't remember a Bill Belichick team getting so dominated in both lines of scrimmage, mm -hmm. in the trenches on yeah. both sides by the Rams' offensive line and then by the Rams' defensive line. They just flat out got manhandled on both sides. They did. Because they basically got run off the field, 186 total yards rushing. Mm -hmm. And that kid, who Cam Thank Akers, mm -hmm. second-round pick out of Florida State, rookie, Where's a great number, the number, the original 23. <laughs> oh, LeBron, huh? No, he, he's a Jordan guy, I'm sure. He's, he's, he says, I'm, I'm the new Jordan, right? He's LeBron. He, he's got some of the sweetest feet you will see in a running back. I love that kid. Every, he's growing on me by the step. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they got that going for him because they got lots of weapons on offense, obviously. And they actually have a tight end named Tyler Higby who barely played in the Super Bowl two years right. ago. He was out there, but he didn't get any targets or had mm -hmm. no, no catches. But... New England doesn't even have a single tight end. They went no. from Rob Gronkowski, the GOAT <laughs> tight end, to help me out. They had one rookie tight end get one target last night and catch none of it, the kid from UCLA. Right. Okay? So help me out. Ryan Izzo's on IR now, and he was all you had. They, they have nothing. And seriously, I, I, I truly believe if Tom Brady were watching that game last night, that he felt sorry for Cam Newton he because probably, nobody can relate better to that situation <laughs> than Tom can. Yeah. And, and again, it's a quarterback's sort of fraternity, and he would just sit and shake his head at what Cam was up against mm -hmm. last night because Aaron Donald, I've been hard on him on the show occasionally, he was good last night. He flashed <laughs> for me because he had a couple of rushes that were just sensational. Right. And he got away with one grab of the running back on Cam's pick six. So, yeah. so I can't completely pin it on Cam. Right. Because Aaron Donald just reached out and grabbed, if we can see, he right. just grabs the running back. Again, is it an ill-advised throw? Do you have to make sure your running back's going to come yeah, clear on that? Yeah, you probably want to just throw that at his feet. You, you just, okay. Hey, let's go back. Let it be second okay. down and let it be third down. So Aaron Donald got away with one, and it should have been, let's play on, let's live to tell about another play. Okay? Right. But it goes pick six the other way. And yet, to me, for Cam Newton, it came down to, I, I get what you're saying about you, you, you go for it on the, the fourth down. But, but it, it got to late in the half. They're down 17 to nothing. It got to fourth and two Patriots at the Rams' 11-yard line. And this is the turning point in the game to me. Are you going to go for it? Well, Bill Belichick has lost so much faith, I believe, in Cam, so much belief, so much trust that he said, no, we'll take the field goal and go into halftime 17-3 to three down. And it just felt like it's teetering on oblivion here. You, you better just go for this. Well, Skip, for me, I, I thought they, they, they did it backwards. I thought the beginning they should have took the field goal and then maybe go, could, for it on, and go for it on this one. You because argue. you had to, Skip, I mean, if you think about it, they were running the football, Cam had some good passes, and I'm like, okay, this thing about to be a ball game. This, okay, we about to have something here. Mm. And then the next thing I know, I'm like, I surely Coach Belichick's not going to go for it this early in the ball game. Yep. And Lord, what was that play though? Was Cam supposed to run it? Was he supposed to pitch it? I mean, what what was that play? Well, the problem is it got immediately blown up by the penetration because yes. he had nowhere to go. Or no, they they took the the pitch man was covered. Right. So what are you going to do? He just was like, I'm I'm dead. I fold. Like you got me, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. So I did not like any of the play calls. Again, if you had a Tom Brady or a quarterback who's more gifted at throwing the football, right. you would have thrown one of those four plays, but they went four straight plays with no creativity, right. no, no sort of illusion or no, no. And two of them, the quarterback ran the ball. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, here we come. So this offense has degenerated slowly but surely into cam or bust running the football. And I have seen him slowly but surely, what is he? He's aged 31 years of age. Yep, 31. I, I have seen him lose the ability over time this year to impose his physical will on a defense because it's just too much pounding. Yeah. He pounded away at the Dolphins in the opener, and that was really good. He ran for 75 yards. Remember right. that? And then he got COVID, and he was out for effectively, because they had their bye week, three weeks. Right. And he came back against San Francisco at home, and he ran it really well. He had 76 yards rushing. Those were his two big rushing. So look at the whole year. He's only three carries behind Lamar Jackson for most carries of a, of a quarterback. quarterback, right? But, but his yards per carry have dwindled all the way under four yards, which ranks yeah. 
17th of among quarterbacks. Yeah, the thing okay. is, when you have no a quarter, when you have a quarterback skip, especially like Cam, and he we consider a running quarterback, that needs to be six yards, seven yards a carry. Two. Because he, it's not like he's running it 30 times a game. Yep. And so if you look at Lamar, you look at his yards per carry. You look at Kyler, what his yards per carry is. Cam needs to be in that. But, Skip, like you said, when you run the ball as many times as he has in his past, Ooh. because now it's starting to look like this offense starting to look like Cam when he was in Carolina. Yep. It, it, just to the record, in his career, he's had these years of yards per carry. He's had a 5.8 for a whole year. He's had a 5.6 and a 5.4. Those will win a lot of football yes. games. Yes. But 3.99 – with that many tries, no. it's not good enough. Mm -mm. So th they're like cam running or bust. His accuracy comes and goes. Sometimes right. he'll throw a rocket and I'll say, wow, that right. looked pretty good. That went to Demir Bird Woo. on the dagger route. Woo. You can't throw it any better than right. that. Right, and he threw one up high to Th Nikhil, Nikhil Harry. Harry. Yeah, and it, it was a good throw. Right. And it had juice on yes. it. You know, mm -hmm. I, I liked it. And then he threw some in the dirt where you say, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. And he had that one magical night at Seattle. Remember that? When he threw for 397 yards and tacked on another 47 right. running the ball. He threw had another big game throwing the ball yep. here recently He's had also. two 300-yard yeah. games, okay? So, look, you said yesterday, this is Belichick's best coaching job. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will give in to this much, that I didn't think they could even be six and seven at this point. Yes. But he's actually, I, I'll give you, they have overachieved mm -hmm. with what they have. I don't know how they just beat... The Chargers 45 to nothing with Cam throwing for 69 yards. Right. I got to tell you, it does not bode well for your man, Anthony Lynn, the head coach of the Chargers, the guy you played with in Denver. Right. It when does you, not bode when well. When you get beat 45 nothing and a team that beat you scores three points the following right. week. Yeah, against your, your in city rival right. in your same stadium, mm -hmm. right? But in this is what we skip. If you look at it, you can do that. You can score 45 points if you get returns pick sixes and scooping scores. Now, all of a sudden, because you're so challenged offensively, if you don't get that, you see how bad they look, Skip, when they don't get points any other place? Because now they don't, there's not a punt return for a touchdown. There's not a pick six or a scoop and mm -hmm. score. And you're like, well, how are they going to actually score? How are they going to actually move the ball consistently enough to get the ball into the end zone? They, 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 that, was, that was just bad. I mean, I, I, obviously, I had to watch the game because we're going to talk about it. But if I wasn't talking about it, I'm not watching that. Mm. that that's, look, I, and I love football, but I'm not used to just go watch bad football just because football is on. Yeah. Well, obviously, the Rams <laughs> took the opening kickoff they go right and drove it 75 yards in six plays, including a quarterback over the top yeah. sneak. And it's seven to nothing. And it just looked like, Ugh. And it was like, it's, I mean, it was like, boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, end zone. And I'm like, hold on, Coach Belichick. Now, now, Coach Belichick, you normally come out with something better than this. You don't normally let a team just go right down the field. But when you do, okay, you make some adjustments, you settle down. But they still really wasn't, weren't able to consistently stop the run. Okay. And that was the problem. All right. So we have seen Belichick pull off wins opening day against Miami. That, that looks right. better and better, yes. right? Then, and remember, they pushed Seattle to the buzzer. It went down to the last play. Mm -hmm. And you said if Cam had just bounced it, they, they would have won the game. Yes. They lost 35 to 30. So that was at least, right. I'm not going to say moral victory, but it was an impressive yes. loss, mm -hmm. right? And then they beat the Raiders at home. They won at the Jets, no big deal. But then they beat Baltimore in the driving, windy rain. Right. And then they beat Arizona at home. Kyler was struggling, but still it was a nice win. And then 45 to nothing over the Chargers to get to six and seven. And the thing is, and, Skip, and they, they played Buffalo tight. They, they, they think yep. about it. Cam fumbles the ball on the 10-yard line. It looked like they're going okay. in the score. Okay. So I can make a case Belichick was too good for his own good because the Cam experiment has failed to me. Mm -hmm. I, I Listen, I love Cam because he's a baller. That's what I mm -hmm. love about him. He, he will fight his tail off. He will do whatever he can to win a football right. game. I'm just afraid it's not enough. So I'm afraid if, if they part ways, remember, it wasn't until July 8th that anybody signed Cam Newton, and it was that guy. Well, I think right? with the exception of a very few select quarterback skip, as quarterback starts to age, they need more and more help. Yeah. And Cam is at that you, you point need, of his career. I agree. He needs help. Yeah, he I'm needs not a, sure anybody a, right. would have been able to Oh, no, to no, no. You know what? Skip, I don't even believe I'm a homeboy. I don't believe Aaron okay. Rodgers right. with that. Okay, okay, I'll buy that. So, Belichick had a really good coaching year doing a lot with a little. Yes. And the little is his fault. Right. But when, when you get to six wins, 
all of a sudden you're sitting right now with the 15th overall pick. Well, it's not good enough because right. the guy you also were banking on for a long time, Jared Stidham, he called Stid. He ain't it. He ain't it. He ain't it. So while, while Cam has five touchdowns to 10 interceptions, Stid, in brief stints, has two touchdowns to three interceptions. And last night he looked even worse than Cam. Yeah. And by the way, Cam had a QBR last night of three. On a scale of 0 to 100, it's just horrible, and he now ranks 29th overall in QBR. So it looks like New England is without a quarterback going into next year. They're without a lot of things going okay. into next season. Right. Skip, and here's the thing. Coach Belichick's going to have to come to the conclusion, and I know, Skip, he's been able to turn Ward into wine on a lot of occasions because when we look at his roster, it's not like he it, it was loaded with talent. We don't look at it and ever say, man, they got Kansas City's roster or they got New Orleans roster. Or for that matter, Dallas. Dallas roster. Right. We, we've never said that. But, Coach, you got to do a better job of picking players. Mm. That's you. You you, you draft the players. You. you sign the free agents. Yep. You got to do a better job in this. The days of you being able to win with marginal players and getting them, oh, we're going to play our keys. You're going to do your job. Yep. Nah, Skip. You can't. So the only silver lining could have been for Belichick if he had said, I love Jared Stidham and gone forward with him. There's no way they have six wins. Oh, absolutely not. He they, really likes that. They, they might be challenging the Jets for the bottom. you right. Which would be a great thing for Patriot Nation because they would be in line for one of those top quarterbacks, right? Which says even more about the t deterioration of Coach Belichick and Tom Brady's relationship. Mm -hmm. That this man was willing to go forward because at the time that he made his decision, Cam was not available. He didn't know he was going to be able to get anybody, and he was going to be willing to go forward. He was. With Jared Stidham. Right. So that lets you know, Skip, how far that relationship between those two historic quarterback, historic coach had deteriorated, that I'm willing to go forward. Skip, ain't no way mm. they win in six games with Jared Stidham. No. Jared Stidham, Brian Ho I don't care who. Yeah, Brian Hoyer's still there. And he nope. started the one game against Kansas City. There's zero chance, Skip. They yep. got six wins. Mm -hmm. And like you said, they're battling Dallas, the Jets, Jacksonville, uh, Cincinnati for a top five pick. Mm -hmm. That's what they would have been doing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of bad not, Skip, because it's kind of like in, in basketball. Well, if you're not in the top four or five, what you, what you really, every once in a while, you might find a, a Giannis or you might get a Kawhi. But more times than not, Look, guy, if you ain't get the first or second pick, you you out of right. gas. You're stuck in limbo. Yeah, you are. You, you right there. In the, you right there in the middle. That's yeah. where you don't want to be. Yeah. So that brings us back to Cam Newton. Let Let's say Belichick parts ways with Cam, which, mm -hmm. which I believe will happen. Right. You, you can even make the case. Do you, you want to try Jared Stidham from here on just to make sure what you have or don't have? You don't. But probably. Skip you know, with that offensive line and those weapons. No, it's just horrible. But but again. Let's say this is the end of Cam in New England. Well, usually when that guy says no to a player, the league will say, mm, we're, we're out, right? Right. So could this be Cam's last hurrah? Could this be the end of his career? Well, hopefully he can, hopefully, like I said, I, I think the thing is, Skip, he's coming off that injury, those injuries. Hopefully after a year he has an opportunity to, to, to train and not rehab, and he'll be ready to go. But if you look at the Patriots, Skip, when they won games, what have they been able to do? Run the football? When they beat Baltimore, what could they do? They ran the football. Baltimore couldn't stop them. You look at the games they've won, they've run the football. And, and, they, and the key downs, the key rushes are always by the quarterback. Yes. Right? Third and short, Cam's getting the first down. Yep. Or Damian Harris is getting the first down. Mm -hmm. Skip, and, and he, I, I think he went out of the ball game, Skip, because I tell guys, on a seven-step drop, you can't cut. Because if you cut the guy, guess what he's going to do, Skip? He's going to get up and sack your quarterback. You, you mean the offensive line? Offensive line. Just, just or, or to... running, the running back. Right. Damian Harris cut, uh, I think it was no, young. Yeah, yeah. He cut, not only did he cut him and hurt himself, the guy got up and sacked Cam. It's a seven-step drop. You got, look, hit the guy in the mouth. He might run you over, you, you but at least to, you're going to give him an opportunity. Yes. I no, I totally agree. So the point is about Cam, and I say this with all respect, he's too good. Good. His aura is too big to be a backup quarterback. Mm -hmm. I don't see a future. If if I owned an NFL team, ran an NFL team, I wouldn't want Cam as my backup. He he's too great. You know his yeah. his mystique. Yeah, he's his never resume. he's never been a, he's never been a backup. No. And so it's easy for guys that's that's been backups. I mean, it ain't no problem. Yeah, Fitzpatrick was hurt, but Skip he's mainly been a backup his whole career. He's he'll come in. The guy gets hurt. He plays well, but for the most part, he's been a backup. Right. McCown. 
He spent 17, 18 years, Skip, as a backup. So it's they okay. They have no ego whatsoever. Cam has a big ego because he deserves. He earned a big ego. Yeah, Skip, I've been an MVP. I've taken a team to a Super right. Bowl. And now that guy, and you know, Skip, you know how guys are. That guy not better than me. Mm -mm. So you're standing on the sideline. It's cold. It's raining. You see them. Man, he's not better than me. I should no. be playing. No. I just won't care if, Skip, if he goes. I don't know what's going to happen with him in New England. But if he goes somewhere and Cam's healthy, I believe Cam. But he needs weapons now. Now, you can't give him this and say, well, well he ain't the camp. No. I mean, Nobody's going to be. What, what did he always have in Carolina as a security blanket? He had Greg Olson. Greg Olson. Who's a really good receiving yes. tight yes. end. Mm -hmm. He's got no security blanket. Who do you trust? Who do you throw it no. to? I, I don't know. And the thing is, last night, now you're dealing with Jay Ram, Jalen Ramsey. He's going to take your best receiver away. You're not fooling with him. The other guy's okay. I mean, he made a play. Uh, uh, your, your, uh, your second corner, he made a uh, Nikhil Harry made a play. Yep. But now you're basically working two men. Your field's not open because Jay Ram's going to take the top guy away. So now what do you do? You're not running the football. You can't protect. I, this is what you get. You get 24-3 on a national televised game in which the team doesn't look very well. Mm. They're done. <laughs> That's it. You, you, you said yesterday you might want to make a new bet. No, I don't want to make okay. no new bet. That's why I, wanna, I don't want to make no amend, no addendums or okay. amendments. I don't want to add. I don't want nothing. Thank you. Game I'm over. Good. I'm good. Next I'm good. question. <laughs> well, I always root for Cam, so that was definitely tough to watch last night. And I do hope he lands on his feet, figures it out. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.